Doctor. Rose. And this is Sophia. Uh, what seems to be her problem? Well, her blood pressure is up, and she's a little pale and a little tired. She presently on any medication? Yes, to control her blood pressure. How long has she been on that medication? What am I, two years old? <laughs> I don't know my own symptoms. I've lived in this body since I was born. If something... <gasps> David! Yeah, oh, David! Is this your kid? Oh, honey, what happened to you? Hey, it wasn't my fault, I promise. He stowed away in the airplane lavatory when they landed in Miami and the authorities picked him up in the duty-free shop in Freeport. You went to the Bahamas? I went to the bathroom. Oh, Sophia, that smells heavenly. Is it Chef Boyardee? <laughs> Stick it in my heart, Rose, it'll hurt less. <laughs> Oh, girls, I cannot believe how extravagant I've been. It cost too much money, but when I saw it in the window, I had to have it. Right, right. <laughs> Look at this. So you have to ask yourself, do you feel lucky? <laughs> well, do you, punk? Go ahead, make her day. <laughs> Wait, Sophia, where are you going? To my room. Oh, you can't. It could be dangerous. Please, I'm 80. Back Stands here. Oh. What is he doing here? Well, he needs my signature on some papers, so I told him he could stop by. Oh. Where is he? I left him on the doorstep. I wanted the neighbors to see what a bunch of galoop you married. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. So where is this vacation spot you're going to where they don't allow must last minute? So we'll take short, bald, fat. I'm sorry, Sophia, but I've already pawned Rose off on his fat friend. <laughs> He's a lighting director. Blanche, I've never been out with a fat lighting director. <laughs> what do you talk about? How should I know, honey? Talk about light bulbs. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> One afternoon, I thought I saw Pat Sajak riding side saddle on a dolphin. <laughs> I'm gonna get something to eat. Oh, yeah, good idea. There's that salad in the fridge. Sophia? You no, know, I have to finish this. Oh. Knit one, pearl two. Five, six, seven, eight. That's not a Steven Spielberg movie. What are they doing? <laughs> you know what they're doing. We had that talk when you were 12. <laughs> no, I can't believe this. You rented a dirty movie? Dirty is in the eye of the beholder. Okay, maybe that's a little dirty. <laughs> I cannot watch your thing. Wish there was something I could do. No, I'll make my famous ice cream clown Sundays. The one with the little raisin eyes and the sugar cone caps. If that doesn't fill the void, nothing will. What's the matter? Nothing, nothing. Down here, honey, and tell us all about your trip. Oh, it was fabulous. The food was delicious, the weather was absolutely gorgeous, and the activities on board ship, well, the list goes on forever. Masquerade balls, hoot nannies, tours of the engine room, fashion shows, jazzercise, Las Vegas night, Monte Carlo night, Rio night, Riviera Who night. Who cares, Rose? Did you and Arnie hit the sheets or not? <laughs> Dorothy! Some women don't kiss and tell. Oh, shoot, honey, that's half the fun. <laughs> oh, my nose! <laughs> Ma, quit listening at the door. I'm flying my mother's sister, Angela, over from Sicily. <laughs> and she's bringing the surprise? <laughs> What you doing? Oh, it's a variation on an old idea. Homemade Mr. Potato Heads. <laughs> you take a baked potato and you give him two little raised twelve when he stopped. <laughs> he wanted to come home from school at lunchtime. <laughs> I got nothing left up here. Oh, no. <laughs> well, she's gone. Wait, that in town. <laughs> Ma. Hey, some of Italy's finest sopranos were former mayors. Hi, Rose. Don't 
for her support. And not just for her, for me. I want to get to know her like a grown-up. But I want us to have a chance to be friends, sisters. After all, she's the only family I have. Mm -hmm. I, I thought you had a sister, Charmaine. Oh, you can't count her. <laughs> well, she's an awful self. Back so soon. Oh, the best possible thing has happened. I still have both my kidneys and my sister's spine. Blanche, how is that possible? They couldn't use my kidney. My blood vessels were too small. But of course, they're too small. I've always been very petite. <laughs> Blanche, Virginia. I could wash them. I mean, before dishwashers, people didn't just eat and wipe the dishes on their pants. I used to love washing dishes. Oh, in Minnesota, the whole family would get together and wash dishes. Even Uncle Gustav, after the giant Swiss army knife accident, learned to... And just yesterday, her biggest concern was whether Bubbles, the chimp, was traveling with Michael Jackson against his will. Okay, honey, tell us what's wrong. What does this picture look like to you? Ah, uh, me sitting on a throne dressed as Cleopatra, wa wearing a Maranara suit. I'll get it. Now that I'm taking Spanish, I'm going to totally immerse myself in the culture. From now on, I'm only speaking Spanish. I'm eating Spanish food, I'm wearing Spanish clothes, and I'm rereading the covers of my Julio Iglesias albums. Re a lousy dollar? That's the one. Yeah! <laughs> I've been trying to get us on that show for six months. Oh, God, that oh, show is my favorite oh, game show. Oh, mine too, and I think Guy <laughs> Corman is the cutest host on TV. Uh, He's like Gene Rayburn, Chuck Woolery, and Bob Eubanks, all rolling yeah, in one. That's an awful lot of teeth and polyester. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sophia, when are we going to be on? We taped tomorrow afternoon in Hollywood. You're kidding, Hollywood, California? No Rose, Hollywood on the planet Romulac. <laughs> Wait a minute, Ma. Wait a minute. What do you mean tomorrow? That's what it says on these tickets. Honey, they have to give us more time. I'm afraid I just gave those two rooms away. But we had a reservation. Until 3 a.m., you're late. Therefore, the reservation is null and void. I'm sorry, that's company policy. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm from Sicily. You know what our company policy is? First, I break your knees. Ma, Ma. <laughs> Look, forget about the reservation. Just give up. I'm in charge of fitness. Blanche is in charge of beauty. Who's in charge of distracting the twins while the two of you have your swimsuits on? <laughs> There's my ride. I'm off to Epcot. <laughs> Wait a minute, Ma. Where's your overnight bag? Who needs a bag? We get on the boat. <laughs> Why should you be president? Well, because I saw Elvis and Harem scare him over 50 times. Well, so did I. I have every album he ever recorded. So have I, and every single. I slept with him in a Motel 6 outside Chattanooga. <laughs> Congratulations for us to do. Okay. It was so nice finally meeting you all. Oh. See you later, Clayton. Oh, isn't it nice to see a brother and sister who are such good friends? Oh, it certainly is. <laughs> Oh, I always wish that I could have been closer to my brother Phil. You know, go places together, share experiences. Although I did. You shot my boss. <laughs> Phil. <laughs> I just can't wait to testify in court. I want to see those guys fry. <laughs> well, everybody, you will never guess what I did today. What? I was in this parking garage, and I, I had to go to the dentist because I lost my crown in a nectarine yesterday, and there was no parking on the street. There I was. Stay. Now, that check better be on my desk tomorrow, or you will regret it. Believe me. Understand? All right. I'll talk to you later, Dad. <laughs> Oh, well, what do we decide? You passed, job. Fine. I'll do what I can. Well, goodbye. Come on, we... Until I came with my wallet. <laughs> Ma, I am furious with you. Think of how mad your date's gonna be when he finds out he's not going out with Janet Gaynor. <laughs> oh, God. Now, Dorothy, 
Just remember how important first impressions are. Oh, then, Jesus. They were busy. I think I'll go back. Ma, don't go. No, Dorothy. It's a wonderful place. I'm very excited about it. Ma, I want you here. Sophia, are there lots of men in heaven? Oh, Blanche. <laughs> I'd like to know. Dorothy, get me my rosary. Kinds of jokes growing up. Actually, it ran in the family. In our breakfast room, we had one whole wall covered with kick me signs we had collected. <laughs> Oh, there was a story attached to each one of them, and in some cases, the original scotch tape. Like, and frankly, that's exactly what it is. You had to bring him home. You couldn't find a drunken sailor on a street corner. We're a little surprised, that's all. Well, you're not alone. I mean, it was the last thing in the world I expected. I met him, we went to sign the papers, we had lunch, he told me his... She melted in the... Where exactly are your loins? <laughs> Rose, it doesn't matter. Just listen. She melted into his arms, faint now with the animal musk of him. I didn't know people had loins. <laughs> I've heard a loin of pork. <laughs> Dorothy, Dorothy. <laughs> Don't smash the Play-Doh. <laughs> Sorry. Well, as far as doctors go, you've certainly seen the best. The best don't exist anymore. The best are dead. Well, I don't know about oh. that. <laughs> You're the... Hey, that. That's not his. He had Buddy Klein do it for him. <laughs> this is a proxy? He doesn't mind doing it in his own bed, but there's something about doing it in a public place. <laughs> kind of like sex. Maybe where you come from. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Dorothy, taste this. Mmm. Oh, Ma, that's wonderful. Yeah. Smells fine to me. I don't know why they were calling it. <laughs> oh, Ma, we can't afford that. That's the thing. The classifieds are filled with ads from people who couldn't find a hotel room this weekend and want to rent a room any place they can. I'm not opening my home to boarders. Oh, they usually just turn out to be low-life trash who'll make a mess, and half the time you can't get your money from them. After you three stooges. <laughs> Come. Oh, Gloria, I just made a very important decision I think you should know about. What is it, Ma? I decided to stay here in Miami. I had to. She begged. It was pivotous. And I better call Simon and cancel our date for tonight. You know, I'm really starting to care about him, and I wouldn't want him worrying about my recording his performance. <laughs> <laughs> you know how fragile men's egos are. One little thing like screaming out the wrong name, and they go all to pieces. <laughs> What makes you think he's going to ask you to marry? Sophia, why are you in a priest's outfit? Because I'm the one who's going to marry you. But that doesn't make any sense. What the hell do you want from me? It's your dream. <laughs> Come on, Rose, let's get you married, but I'm still not sure. Oh, Rose, you can't disappoint your guests. The guests? But I have to think of what's best for me. That's only in real life, Rose. In a dream, you do what's best. I put my skates on the wrong feet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sonia Henderfinkins. <laughs> Morning, all. Oh, morning, all. Oh, Rose, for God's sake. You look like a giant elf. <laughs> Can I borrow that sometime? Oh, sure. And it started making a wheezing, coughing, rattling kind of a sound every time it goes up a hill. Uh-oh, that's a bad sign. Those are the sounds Tony Triano made the night they wheeled him out of the home on a gurney. <laughs> that car is in terrific condition. All right, sometimes it's a little hard to turn over in the morning. Tony Triano. Blanche, I'm trying to decide what to get Dorothy for her birthday. What do you think about this? Good-looking, single white male seeks fun times on a regular basis. Well, it's something she doesn't have. 
Hi. Hi. Dorothy, you're home from school. Oh, Ma, do you realize... I was too nervous to eat much at dinner. But I suppose the rest of the evening really built up an appetite. <laughs> I didn't expect to see you girls up so late. I'm just having a snack. Dorothy's the one having an affair at a motel. <laughs> Thank you, Rose. The woods did once when I was a young'un. You mean besides using phrases like neck of the woods and young'un? <laughs> they burn books. The townspeople made a big pile of them out in front of the library and they threw a torch on top. Only Big Daddy was outraged. He fought his way through that crowd, clawed his way to the top of that... <laughs> he says he's in Miami on business and he wants to see you. Uh, John Reddy called. I haven't heard from him in almost 40 years. Oh, I can't believe this. Who's John Reddy? Oh, there's a guy who humiliated me. Could you narrow it down a bit, Dorothy? I, uh, I raised her better than that. I mean, except for a little white lie, but that doesn't really count. Oh, yes, it does. A lie is a lie, which is a sin, which sends you straight to hell. <laughs> who told a lie? Oh, who hasn't? Me, I never lie. Ma, how much did you lose at the dog track last week? It's the uh, scuba gear, the carpet, the dicky. <laughs> It turns out it was one of their trusted servants who was trying to frame poor Duncan. Oh, don't tell me. The butler did it? No, he just thought of it. He made the maid do it. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, honey, I think your mother was looking for you. Oh, I, I understand, Lucy. Would you mind if I gave you a call sometime? Oh, sure. I guess that'd be okay. Not you, Lucy. I was talking to Rose. <laughs> oh, I, I don't think so. Are you sure? Tuesday night, I'm getting together with a couple of buddies. We're going through Don Johnson's trash. Birthday! <laughs> oh, thanks so much, sweetheart. <laughs> An even happier birthday party. <laughs> You're hurting me, Dorothy. <laughs> Sorry. Honey, before you do anything else, I want you to open my gift. I think you're going to like it. Oh, isn't that Crush on the teacher. Ah, I had those. Of course, I had to hide them because they made the principal jealous. <laughs> Actually, though, once I did have a fling with the calculus teacher. Oh, and did you get an A? Uh -huh. More like a full scholarship to MIT. <laughs> and if you end up in a puddle tonight, well, you just better break into singing in the rain. <laughs> I'm going to laugh instead. <laughs> well, now, to be honest, it is a little difficult for me. I mean, everything happens so fast. My God, you and Lucas probably haven't even slept together yet. Thanks, don't be ridiculous. I mean, I know... Your help. Ladies, with all due respect, I think it's time you threw in the dish towel. I mean, trying to fix it yourself was... Cute, but I think you proved your point. It's time to let a man take over. I'm with Lou. Oh, get your coat. Lou is leaving. Hey, not so hard. I look in my hands. You're making a big mistake. The man may be... A... I, I would like to thank you all for choosing me to be the best friend of the year. I'm a very lucky woman. Not only do I have a lot of friends in this community, but I have a lot of good friends at home. Friends who care about me and care about each other. Let's make a toast to friendship. Oh, to, fr to friendship. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> Dylan, and then making love in the mud. <laughs> you went to Woodstock? Well, actually, it was the movie, but afterwards we did go home and make love in the mud. <laughs> I guess the 60s were a confusing time for all of us, Glenn. <laughs> oh! Gee, I'd forgotten I had these candlesticks. They were mothers. Oh, they'd be perfect for the uncle. Here goes he. Mom! Say, Rose, um, look, now, I'm not making any promises, but how would you like to take a look at that Blanche Devereaux room? Really? I'd love to. Come on, let's go. <laughs> By the way, what's your name? <laughs> that last remark was the reason I did the... I called. I canceled. What do you mean? 
We are not giving away Fluffy, Muffy, Buffy, and Joanne. <laughs> Rose, they are non-breeding minks who eat their weight in food every day, Joanne. We are not giving them away, Dorothy. I mean, this is their home They now. eat their weight in food every day? When I'm depressed, so do I. <laughs> what? Well, unless you mind. Oh, I guess I should have asked you first. I can just call him and cancel. Oh, Blanche, don't be ridiculous. I mean, why should I object? Well, he was your husband, Dorothy. Was, was. We're divorced, remember? He left me for a woman half Blanche's age. Was <laughs> Blanche? He said he had friends who would lean on us. <laughs> well, I got friends, too. One phone call to Palermo, and Johnny's lunch wagon will be wearing concrete tires. Come on, come on. The only person you know in Palermo is Uncle Vito, and he's a harmless old man. Harmless? Give him a piece of piano wire, make fun of his limp, and see what... Good morning, Dorothy. Good morning, Blanche. Blanche, have you seen Jean? No. I wonder where she could be. Didn't you say where she was going when you all got up this morning? She never came to bed. Maybe she stayed in Sophia's room. But Ma, did Jean... <laughs> oh, Sophia, look here. Here's a postcard from Big Daddy and Margaret. They say they're having the time of their life honeymooning in the Bahamas. Please, the big news is he lived through the wedding night. Hi. <laughs> Miami, Miami, you got style. Blue sky, sunshine, white sand by the mile. There's more clubs and nightclubs, all within reach. Dance the samba till morning, then lie on the beach. Each view is a boat. Dorothy, go after her. I will not. I'm not the only one who was cruel and vicious. I have feelings, too. Morning, Dorothy. I'm not talking to you. I guess you're still upset with me about last night, aren't you? No, I'm upset because we are decent, honest person. You think maybe you could just love me for that? I already do. Then you forgive me? Of course I forgive you. But I'll tell you, if you ever pull a... Americans, you measure everything by the almighty dollar. Well, we're trying to learn the metric system. It's not that easy. <laughs> this place is like a sweat box. Oh, great. The air conditioner is not working. Well, who needs air conditioning? We have a fresh ocean breeze and a breathtaking view. <laughs> there might be a waterfall in that rock formation. Mm -hmm. You were right. There is a waterfall, and it empties into a pool. In the lobby of the Hyatt Regency! <laughs> we never left the island. We just got shipwrecked on the good side. <laughs> Our new hotel's a half a mile in this direction. Come on, we reserved your room. Okay. Rick, put out the fire. Blanche, that does it. That does it, I have had it. Now listen, up until the time we started working together, you were my best friend. The reason we were such good friends was because you trusted me. Now all of a sudden, I don't know, you think I'm some other person, someone who'd stab you in the back. I am not that person. Blanche, I am still your best friend for just a few moments. If I may be so bold, uh, the pantyhose are nice too. <laughs> At least the hose part. <laughs> I can't tell you how happy I am to finally meet you, Isaac. Why don't you two just run along and we'll catch up with you later? Blanche. Dorothy, don't you see that something is happening here? Yes, it's the beginning of a disaster. We don't know. Uh, excuse me. Yes, ma'am? Uh, how would you like to go home for a little while and, and spend Christmas Eve with your family? Oh, I'd love to. Wait a second. No, if you trust us, we'd be happy to watch the place while you're gone. Ooh. Can you cook? Are you black? <laughs> Problem. We have to find out what Sophia and Angela are mad about and then force them to sit down and settle it. It's like that old Scandinavian saying, you can let two angry mackerel fight it out in a purse, but don't ever plan on carrying that purse to a formal affair. <laughs> deserve to know why? Okay. Okay, you want to know so bad? I'll tell you right now. Picture it. New York City, 
Christmas, 1955. It's Francesca Raguso's annual Christmas bash. Everybody is there, eating, drinking, guzzling the... And I say, what do you think you're doing? She says, she thought Cuneo, the bookmaker, was in the Santa suit. And I say, that's a lie. Well, we have a big fight about it. She denies the whole thing, and we never speak again. Oh, Aunt well, Angela, come on, that was 30 years ago. Don't you think you should talk to <laughs> Now I lay me down to sleep. <laughs> you had almost forgotten about that night. With all of us cramped into that bed, I had to sleep in positions I never thought possible. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> you know, we, we have these uh, people who are coming to visit and we still haven't decided what our sleeping arrangements are going to be. I volunteer to sleep with Sophia. Oh, no, I think I should sleep with Ma. I mean, we've done it many times before. We always get along just fine. Except when you're sick. You remember the time you had bronchitis? Oh, honey, I was really... <laughs> Dorothy, I, I'm sorry about this misunderstanding. I know, I know. It's all right. Okay, everybody. We're ready to serve the appetizers. Uh, come on, Frank. We're eating out on the lanai. exactly family anymore they all ate some sausages that they shouldn't have at their last family picnic and they all died <laughs> food poisoning no they stole the sausage from the calabrese family <laughs> so what are you doing here well i took a vacation to come and see you didn't you get my letter no we... well there's some sauce left if you really liked it you take a hunk of that bread and sop it all up you can afford it Oh, no, I can't. I've put on a few pounds. You just haven't noticed. What, am I blind? <laughs> I can see that. I meant the bread. You can afford the bread. It's only 89 cents a loaf. <laughs> and what? And concoctions. Yes! <laughs> it's called Gnurkenfurt and Kick. <laughs> it's an ancient recipe, but I Americanized it. Yeah, so one might say you brought Gnurkenfurt into the 80s? <laughs> Yes, but I'm not one to blow my own vertuben. Uh, and Angela. <laughs> uh, where did you get this chicken? The garage. <laughs> I guess this means no live entertainment with dessert. <laughs> I can't tell you that. That would be unethical. Let's just say that some of my handiwork is prominently featured on NBC's Thursday night lineup. <laughs> and Mrs. Devereaux. Call me Blanche. We're talking about tightening my behind and pumping up my bosoms. I think we can be on a first name basis. Let's teach. Of course, there's a similar look that means I'm going to slash your tires. <laughs> But an experienced teacher can tell the difference. Daddy, I'm going to a party tonight. Can I please borrow your silver earrings? Well, of course, but why not wear the ones you usually wear with that outfit? Would you like to feel that one, Rose? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't stand it anymore. I thought you said everybody loved Lucy. <laughs> She's talking about Kate and Dennis. How long have they been in there? Since Lucy went to Scott. I'm scared. I'm scared too. I'm scared for Alan Bobby. Oh, shh. What was that noise? That was me. <laughs> Thank you for calling it to everyone's attention. <laughs> Happy birthday, Ma. Ah, shut up. <laughs> You're welcome. What are you doing? It's going to be late for your birthday party at Guido. Stan's in the car waiting. I'm not going. What do you mean? You're not going. Hey! Boy, it's great being rich. Ah, uh, I cannot believe we spent so much money that we don't have yet. Relax. 
When I looked in on Baby this morning, he was a half hour away from sizzling. <laughs> Rose Nyland, shame on you. Caught with a gentleman. Mental problem. The fact is, when you take an animal out of its natural environment, it's not uncommon for it to have a hard time adjusting to new surroundings. What? Are you trying to tell us that that pig is dying of homesickness? In a way, yes. My recommendation is to get him back to the farm. Once he's home, he should do a lot better. Thank you. Hours for half as much. <laughs> Would you please make sure Rose receives this note? Wait, you can't be serious. Why would the premier of Russia want to see Rose? He was quite moved by her letter. He wishes to extend an invitation to her and her family to visit Moscow and discuss nuclear dis... He's the one who prescribed arch supports for Mussolini. <laughs> Must have really helped his lower back when they hung him by his heels. Forget him. I'm talking about Bruno Bonafiglio. I take one look at him... And I have a hunch he's trouble. But nobody believes me. So what happened? Revealed her identity under any circumstances. Independent sources have already identified the woman as Blanche Devereaux. Oh, please. What sources? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Blanche. I don't believe this. He just... <laughs> I've just never known how to turn him off. <laughs> You tell him, Dorothy. I would, Blanche, but remember, we just want to turn him off, not drain the sex drive completely out of him. You know, I've always... Now, girls, listen. Listen. Remember, the way to make a deal is with... We state our price, stick to our guns, and undo another button on our blouses. Watch that. Sometimes I think if I have to live with one more week of my life... Ladies, ladies, please! Now, we're not going to get anything more accomplished unless you... I love you. This is so exciting. Oh, I just can't wait to hear that. Come on. Morning, Ma. Dorothy, you'll be glad to know my practical joking days are over. Ma, that is... Sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> Does it bother you that I gain weight? Oh, well, I'm just so glad to have you back again. <laughs> Listen, let's go and I'll show you where you'll be staying so you can unpack your things. Now I understand why she's sleeping in Blanche's bed. We know it can support the weight of an average female and two Venezuelan soccer players. <laughs> yes, it's a beautiful sports car you've always dreamed of. Retail price, $23,000. <laughs> now, Dorothy, Blanche, Willard, and Fred... It's time to see what you did pick. Are you ready? Yeah, we're ready. We're yeah, ready. Yes, yeah. we're ready. Because if I got something for you, a brand new... Oh. Yeah, look at the terrific. Well, you haven't changed the brain in 40 years. Angelo, you're a priest. You shouldn't lie. And uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Before the trip, I said an extra 50 Hail Marys in a case I felt like cutting a loose. <laughs> <laughs> Dorothy... Uh, Snookums, could I see you in the living room? Sure. What the hell is wrong with you? Are you out of your mind? Dorothy, just hear me uh, out. The last two days, you and me being here, brought back a lot of good memories. Last night when you and I were in bed together, I felt something. That was my mother's knee. I'm so sorry Helltown was canceled. <laughs> Frank, Frank, I'm sorry I... Please tell me that's a Nehru jacket. No, it's not. 
Rose, let's go heat up the lasagna. Come on. <laughs> Wait for my wedding night, honey. I couldn't. I had these urges. <laughs> you know, in the South, we mature faster. I, I think it's the heat. <laughs> I think it's the gin. Anyhow, my first was Billy. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's that? Oh, I'm sorry. I know it's awful, but I have this incredible sweet tooth. What is it? Cheesecake. What kind? Chocolate. Oh, I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> stuff come out of your purse? No, I was also cleaning out my ears. That's where the phenom and the rain bonnet came from. <laughs> Sophia, why are you in such a bad mood? Forgive me, Rose, but I haven't had sex in 15 years and it's starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> it does not belong in a song. <laughs> Miami. You're cuter than an interuterine. <laughs> See, on the committee is female. Who are you gonna sleep with? <laughs> are you insinuating that I cannot win it on merit alone? All women? <laughs> so, sure, where are you going all dressed up? Raymond invited me to about the same thing. I'm not going. Why? Don't faint, but you were right when you said I should go out and make new friends. So, uh, I took your advice. I met some nice people at the center, and this weekend we're all going to Cancun. Looks like uh, you and what's-his-name will have to go to the Bahamas without me. You just met the... expensive restaurant, and I went to the powder room, and when I returned to the table, there was an open bottle of Dom Perignon and two filled glasses. We clinked the glasses in a toast, and Stan gave me a coy smile, and I winked at him, and then I just... Wait a minute, wait a minute. My, my super terrific hearing detects a visitor. It's Mr. Policeman. Disguised as Mr. Mailman. Why, why, why don't I... You got it. Here, keep the change. Thank you, we'll be in touch. Uh, oh, listen. Uh, how much for the uh, nectarine? Take it. It's on the house. Oh, we can't do that. It's against the bylaws. All right, you can pay me. That's 45 cents. 45 cents for one lousy nectarine? Just wheel these to your room. Oh, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> Sam, how are you doing? I'm feeling real good today. I know, your strength's coming back. You wheeled yourself all the way down the hall. Excuse me. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, I guess there isn't much point in sitting out here anymore, is there? Oh, I don't know, Rose. Such a nice night. Let's stay a while. Okay. Pure milk chocolate. <laughs> oh, that's the loveliest trophy I've ever seen. I'm gonna get a knife. Rose, there is no way that we can tell you how proud of you we are. Oh. Sure there is. Congratulations, Rose Nyland. You are St. Olaf's Woman of the Year. Oofta! <laughs> Best thing a person can do. That didn't sound right when you said it on our honeymoon, and it doesn't sound right now. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> well, what do you think? Sophia, that looks beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. But don't you have to be a virgin to wear a white wedding dress? Please, the last time I was a virgin, the Louisiana... Now there was a million dollar idea. A million dollars was a bargain for that idea. That business was Sal's dream. Too bad it didn't work out. Yeah, bad timing. Hey, 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 hey. Friend, 
opening in time for the big beach festival this weekend. Sophia, it's getting damp and chilly out here. You're gonna catch yourself a cold. Please, I haven't had a cold in 40 years. This is the worst cold I've had in 40 years. My back is killing me. I feel dizzy and nauseous. Every joint in my body feels... That's what it's about time. You and your date must have really hit it off. Hey, Rose, what are you doing with Clayton? We ran into each other in the park. Well, what happened to Lois? Oh, she went home. We weren't really suited, Blanche. Not suited? Oh, Clayton, sometimes I do not understand you. Time after time, I fix you up with attractive, eligible women. Uh, Ma, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ma, did you let Billy play? Billy, Billy. Little boy, brown hair. She knows who he is. Uh, he played a little. Ma, that was illegal. Was. I gave him a sandwich so he'd make weight. Unfortunately, on the first play, it gave him a cramp and he had to sit out. But they won it with all Bruce. Girls, listen, maybe we don't have everything we need. But what are we missing? Well, we are going away for a romantic weekend to the Bahamas with Jeff and Rich and Randy. In this day and age, it might be a good idea to take along some protection. What kind of protection? <laughs> Two armed Pinkerton guards. It's already been written. Well, if it's any consolation, they do it all the time on Mr. Belvedere. <laughs> well, my dream is crushed. I always wanted to be rich and famous, and now it's not going to happen. I know a poem that might help. It goes, never ever give up your dreams, even when they need you to put up the money for the entrance fee for the fight. Entrance fee? Oh, yeah, right. Didn't I mention that? No problem. It comes out of Rose's share. And what about the Spanish? Why did you pretend to only know Spanish? It's part of the image. Cuban boxers are supposed to know their right from their left, not much else. And you think that we are that narrow-minded and brown? You are not mad? Are you kidding? Uh, Our friendship was <laughs> built on years of this. Uh, Trudy, you have made this one hell of a reunion. Speaking of which, there's a party out there. Come on. <sighs> Well, Dorothy Zbornak, I cannot believe you put Rose and me through this. Yeah! Here, you take him. Oh, come on, Rose. No, I insist. I mean, obviously you don't believe me. I think this is the best way to prove it. Rose, what the hell are you doing? Oh, I couldn't sleep. <laughs> Well, Blanche, what do you think? Sophia, what have you done? Save my pocket little Sicilian behind, that's what. <laughs> when Dreyfus didn't come home again this morning, I went to the pet shop and got a duplicate. Amazing, isn't it? Between us and Holly, it's between you and Holly. Ever since she arrived, you've been trying to convince us that she's been doing terrible things. And, Rose, it simply isn't true. See, we happen to like Holly. So whatever the problem is, will you just kind of leave us out of it and you settle it with her, okay? Heather and Sunny Pastures is not doing its job. What are we gonna do? I know what I'm gonna do. Make Sunny Pastures do its job. I'm gonna see the man who runs that place and give him a good what for. I can be pretty mean and pretty tough when I want to be. There's only one thing I'll need. What, Dorothy? My mother to come with me. Ooh. Ooh, that hurts. I'm not having any trouble. Why is it that doesn't surprise me? <laughs> Okay, everybody on their feet. Whirly birds! Whirly birds! Losing weight. Come with me. Remember the first week you were here, we put a mark on the back wall to measure how tall we were. You said they did that at the home to show how your height was declining. <laughs> oh, Blanche is right. You are a little bit shorter. Then you don't have to worry about losing weight. And you... Just because a hospital vending machine screws up a lousy cup of coffee doesn't mean that the hospital did anything wrong. Oh, sure, a mistake like getting two babies mixed up makes the headlines. But the point is, statistics back me up. Hospitals are remarkably efficient institutions. I mean, seriously. <laughs> Don't ask.
me. <laughs> Pay attention. You're in for a treat. Oh, Ma, not another act. No, Dorothy, not just another act, the act. I've taken a classic and reworked it Sophia style. Now, you want to pursue this? You want to spend more money? That's fine with me. So, go to New York and see the man I studied with. He's the best neurologist there is. I don't know anyone better. If you have anything, anything at all, he'll find it. Two and a half hours? I thought you died. What's wrong with you? <laughs> and I'm going to get to see the big potato. <laughs> I said she was comforting. I didn't say she was smart. Dorothy, what happened? Tell me, what did he say? Nothing. He said exactly what everyone else did. Oh, no. That's terrible. Oh, Dorothy, I am so sorry. I thought surely he'd find something so that you'd at least have a name for this thing. Oh, let's not talk about that. Tell me about your day. Oh, forget about my day. He... What they did then was, since the grave was still open, and everybody was right there, and Gustav and Bergstrom had been partners, so they put Bergstrom in with Gustav and had a double burial. <laughs> Unfortunately, later they... F oh, listen to that music. <laughs> Who says you can't go home again? You know, Trollstead. You see, he took Ilsa Frickadeller up to Smooch Point to play Hide the Fingerboard. That's a thin... Hey, Jacques. Give me a hand and watch where you put it. TV guide and you toss it on top of your ten items, I'm supposed to look the other way. I think not, Dorothy. <laughs> Dorothy, my car is gone. What? My car has been stolen. Oh, come on, Rose. Slow down. You probably just forgot him, too. I looked up to him. I tried to be just like him. But I couldn't. I couldn't be him then and I can't be him now. You were in love with the memory I brought back to you. Well, I certainly am not. I am well in touch with my feelings, and I, I certainly know my own mind, George. Now, you've just been talking now. Ma, I told you why I... Know what I... you told me, and you're wrong. Your brother Phil is much older than Michael, and I still send him money, and do you know why? Where I was brought up, you learned never to turn your back on family. Never. I know, Ma. When your crazy cousin Nunzio started living with his pet goat, did the family turn its back on him? No. And after a couple of nights... More on the ice. I'm blending, Enrique. I want my public to trust me. And Enrique Mas must have honest eyes. <laughs> Try number 34. I heard Ted Koppel uses 34 around the ice. Proud of you, Stan. Really proud. That was a lovely thing you did. You made me believe in Santa Claus again. <laughs> me too. Oh, not me. I knew it was Stan all along. <laughs> After I walked out of here this afternoon, I realized that I'm more fortunate than a lot of people. Tomorrow I'm going to get the... Hello, Fred. Hello, Dorothy, Mrs. Petrillo. Why haven't you returned my calls? There's nothing to talk about. We're not going away, Fred. All right, come in. Have a seat. I am. What the hell, you paid. <laughs> Look, I, I can deal with losing some of my memory. If I didn't have to remember what's her name over here, I wouldn't care. <laughs> but Sal was the most important person in my life. And scrapbooks aren't doing the trick. Hello. You fooling around with Gladys? Of course not. Gladys was going out with Charlemagne. <laughs> Sophia, I see from upstairs you kind of lost your spunk. What's the matter? I'm slipping, Sal. And it's frightening. I'm even forgetting you. Forgetting the good old days. And what? I'm supposed to... <laughs> well, thank you, Rose. Thank you for rubbing my nose in the fact that you had a faithful husband. 
Why did George cheat on me? Why does any man cheat? Well, there are two popular theories. One, men are victims of an evolutionary process which genetically programs... I'm thinking of going to Europe with him. Mm -hmm. Rose, quite frankly, I don't get it. What is this hold that Buzz has over you? Oh, I know exactly what she's going through, Dorothy. First love can be very powerful. I felt the same way about Haywood Boyle, the star pitcher on our high school baseball team. Oh, an amazing athlete. I don't care what that sales girl said. I look good in that bathing suit. <laughs> you know, sometimes I wish I did live in Brazil. <laughs> Excuse me. One of you ladies dropped this. Is there any money in it? Uh-huh. I dropped it. You two were victims of the oldest confidence game going. The pigeon drop. But he just seems so honest. Well, that's why it's called a confidence game. I mean, he has to win your confidence or you wouldn't put up the money. It wasn't his idea. The nun suggested it. <laughs> she was part of the team. They always... Yes. <laughs> I mean, it was fine while Charlie was alive, but, oh, I'll never forget that first wedding after he died. So now you see why I can't go if Miles is going to be out of town. I might end up almost going to bed with the caterer again. I can't forget. This man stole money from us. Because of him, our family went hungry. Ma, we never went hungry. Some nights I felt like dessert. <laughs> Listen, why don't we just leave this mess and go out and get something to eat? Yeah, I'll ask Ma if she'd like to come. It'll do her good to get out of the house. It stays. Then he should know better. And this is... Blanche Devereaux, it's a real pleasure, Mr. President. My, you do have a lot of Secret Service men, don't you? Hi, Blanche. Hi, fellas. Thank you, Mrs. Devereaux. And, Mr. President, this is Dorothy Zbornak. Rose, honey, is that why you're training? For your parents? They always wanted me to be a champion ice skater. They were so proud watching me practice. I know their dream was for me to win a gold medal, but I hate ice skating. Rose, listen, you don't have to do anything to please your parents. She's right. I'd like to them. I have 49 more of them. <laughs> but we're rich. Uh -huh. You're half right. <laughs> You just paid fifty dollars for those. You should split them. Split them? Are you kidding? Don't be crazy. I paid for these fair and square. You said yourself, all deals are final. Charlie would want me to have them. George, I have to figure out which of the traditional Saint Olaf party games to play at Blanche's party. <gasps> party? Is that why you've been sneaking around trying to find out my age? A party? I forbid it. Blanche, a party is a celebration of life. And it's not just for you, but for your friends who love you. No. Oh, stop. <laughs> Are you still on the phone with Abby? Blanche, I can't get Abby off the phone. Tell her a St. Olaf story. What will that do? <laughs> Give it a shot. <laughs> okay, the earth did move. <laughs> Big quake in California. <laughs> yeah, we'll speak soon. I look forward to that myself. Yeah, bye-bye. Goomba! Ma! <laughs> All right, now you kids go out, have fun. I won't wait up. Do anything you want to her. <laughs> Will do. <laughs> well, Mel Bushman is picking me up in 15 minutes. Blanche, George called him. We moved to a new neighborhood. I was mad because he always made new friends more easily than I did. And I'm mad today because I never wanted to give the eulogy at my kid brother's funeral. I'm mad because he died. It's okay that you loved him. 
I did love him. He was my son, my little boy. But every time I saw him, I always wondered what I did, what I said, when... Me. <laughs> I know that joke. Everybody heard on the radio that some anonymous ma was complaining that her dependent daughter, Dorothy, doesn't have a life of her own. What? Oh, my God. Now it all makes sense. Why the hat check guy serenaded me with Moon River, why the chef gave me that extra large cut of beef, why the busboy did that thing with his tongue. <laughs> Ma, how could you do this? Okay. Hey, Irving. Oh. Sorry, our deal is off. My daughter doesn't... They offered me a deal, and I turned state's evidence, which put my client, Mr. Moran, away for a long, long time. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, you're a snitch. <laughs> no, I'm not a snitch. I'm an informant. Oh, a snitch in a tie. <laughs> the point is, it all would have been behind me, but he escaped. <laughs> Well, my plan with the truck drivers didn't work, thanks to little Miss Straight Lace Tia. <laughs> so I have been in every front yard in a six-block radius getting these penny savers from the paper boys. Mm -hmm. She was a woman possessed, Dorothy. Caught some on the fly, scaled a couple of roofs, and she had a brilliant idea how to avoid guard dogs. You made her... Be, I can't be Jewish. <laughs> I'll be damned. The black guy is prejudiced. <laughs> Well, this information will have no bearing on my getting into the Daughters of the Old South. I'll just lie. Oh, Blanche, this is ridiculous. Why should you have... You look like George Kirby. <laughs> no, no. Wait, wait. It's time that John Noretti learned a lesson. That I am not that same little girl whose head can be turned by a, a pair of beautiful eyes and a killer smile. <laughs> <laughs> So Jay Savage wasn't perfect, but he was really good. Just <laughs> <laughs> he wanted Betty to do it with the Dutch accent. He was crazy. <laughs> now a question is, how did it get on the air? Obviously, it was a family had never been seen on television before. What was your negotiation with NBC? You don't want to hear this, okay? Good news, you can't. <laughs> Oh, Rose, Rose, what are you doing? Oh, she can't face me. She's been doing this all day. Rose, you know I said I'm sorry. That was a big joke. How would you like to go to college? Now, where's my patient? Don't you mean victim? Ma. <laughs> now, look, Sophia, I know you didn't like it at Shady Pines. Nobody did after their families dumped them there. What do you think I'm saying? Well, I think you're saying you want your ring on your girl. Yes. <laughs> the foreclosure. Stan, I'm confused. Is this true? Doc, ah, we're both men. Let's not do this to each other. <laughs> Stanley. Okay, okay, I lied, but so what? You never have? Only once, Stanley. The night I told you it was good for me to... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> have you said she didn't have a sense of humor? Yes. Number one, lose 200 pounds. <laughs> Done it! <laughs> Number two, never be burdened to children in old age. Moving on. <laughs> Three, make amends with Guido Spirelli. Original Mickey Mouse Club sweatshirt that Roy wore. I got it at an auction. Oh, my God, I love Roy. Oh, there was something about him. Woof. <laughs> oh, Dorothy, I just can't imagine a better birthday present. Neither can I. Blanche? Ooh. Oh, no, listen to this. 9.30, confirmed surgery for the following day. Surgery? On what? That's all it says. Oh, my God. Oh, now, honey, don't panic. I mean, it, it may not be anything serious. Of course it's serious. If it was minor, he would have told me about it. 
That's why he's been living for the day. That's it, I'm damned. I'll never make it to heaven to see myself. Now take it easy, Ma. Let's retrace your steps. What did you do when you first got home? Who knows? Nap on the couch, nap on the bed, nap on the lanai. I do so much, it's all a blur. <laughs> then we'll just have to search room by room. It's hopeless. We'll never find it. Now here's a picture of Dorothy's ninth birthday party. Look how scared the clown looks. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I can't believe you actually got a clown for my birthday. I can still see his big red nose and those huge black circles around his eyes. Oh, he wasn't a real clown. He was a friend of your father's. He'd been beaten up the night before. From the curse. So why don't you just kiss Rose and get it over with? <laughs> Technically, Rose isn't a fool. She's a simpleton. What's the difference? How can I explain it? Fools read Dear Abby. Simpletons read Ann Landers. It's a fine line. <laughs> Actually, I'm very... The women here. I like that in a man. <laughs> I'm Blanche, and I have lovely eyes. I'm Derek, and the pleasure is mine. Derek, listen, before we go any further, there's something I have to know. Yes? Are the English really as bad in bed as they say? <laughs> Roofing nail, have a flat head. <laughs> You're actually paying attention. Look, Lucas, no offense, but uh, hardware doesn't sound terribly romantic. So when you come by tomorrow, why don't you tell Blanche that you took me to hear the Emerson String Quartet? I love it. Do you think they might buy that afterwards? We frolicked in the